Friends, let's ponder on this. Why do we wake up each morning? What stirs our hearts and propels us forward? Think about it. We're not just talking about faith, but every aspect of our lives, our families, our future, our finances. What's the driving force of the universe? What's the true essence of our existence? Where did our journey begin? What's the reason for our presence here? And what lies ahead in our path? Now, if you're seeking the true purpose of your life, the starting point is always God. We can't define our purpose on our own because we didn't create ourselves. The only way to truly understand why we're here on this earth, the real reason for our existence, is to communicate with our Creator, God, and delve into His Word, the ultimate guidebook for our lives. Remember, God creates everything with a purpose. Every plant, every star, every creature holds a purpose. Nothing in God's creation is without significance or reason. And if you're here, with a beating heart and breath in your lungs, you have a purpose. Your very existence is meaningful. God had a divine reason for bringing you into this world. But before we continue, remember to subscribe to our channel, The Daily Praise, for more uplifting videos every day. In Christ, we truly discover who we are and the purpose of our existence. It's like finding our place in God's grand plan that encompasses everything and everyone. Just like it says in Colossians chapter 1, verse 16, everything began with Christ and finds its meaning in Him. So if you're out there trying to find yourself, remember you'll find your true self in Christ. We are created by God and for God. Without this understanding, life can seem like a puzzle with missing pieces. You might wander asking, what am I here for? The answer begins with God. God's desire is for us to know Him and to love Him in return. In the book of Hosea, chapter 6, verse 6, God expresses, I'm not after your sacrifices, I want your love. He's saying, I don't just want your offerings, I want you to truly know me. The most crucial knowledge in life is understanding that God loves you, and the greatest action you can take is to love Him back. There's a profound truth in 1 Timothy chapter 6. Some folks miss the most vital thing in life, knowing God. But how can you tell if you're disconnected from God? God has given us a clear signal, like a bright yellow warning light flashing in our lives. That signal is worry. When we worry, it's as if we're saying God doesn't exist. It's as if we believe everything depends on us. But that's not the case. It's in God's hands. Worry implies that we're shouldering all the responsibility, forgetting that we have a loving Heavenly Father, and that there are over 7,000 promises in the Bible where God has vowed to take care of all our needs. Often we find ourselves worrying over decisions, what job to take, where to study, what to do. We're so focused on these choices, but here's the thing. God is more interested in who we become rather than what we do. You see, our careers, cars, cash, and even our finest china, none of these are coming with us to heaven. It's all about our character. That's what we're taking with us after our time here on earth. Not our achievements or possessions, but the person we've grown into. That's what counts in heaven. God placed us here to develop our character, to spiritually mature, and to become more like Jesus Christ. When life throws challenges our way, our immediate reaction is to ask why. Why me? Why now? The answer to all these why questions is simple. To shape us into the likeness of Jesus. If we look at Jesus' life, we see he wasn't shielded from hardships. He experienced loneliness, misunderstanding, disappointment, and temptation. If Jesus, God's own son, went through all this, it's likely we will too. Why? Because God values our character development more than our immediate comfort. Remember, this life isn't about comfort. That comes later in eternity, in heaven. Right now, we're in life's classroom learning lessons that sometimes only hardship can teach. If everything was handed to us without a struggle, we might end up self-centered and spoiled. The real journey of life is about learning to be unselfish. It's not just about us. It's about loving God, loving others, and in that we find true fulfillment, joy, and purpose. Think about those challenges in your life that you're not too fond of. Each of them serves a purpose, and that purpose is to shape you into the likeness of Jesus. Every situation in your life is an opportunity for growth if you place your trust in Jesus and learn to react appropriately. God is well aware of the struggles you face. 
He understands your frustrations, your pain, your fears, and the inner turmoil you experience. He's aware of the loneliness that creeps in at night, and the insecurities you might be hesitant to share with anyone. He knows every facet of your life, even those hidden parts you might think are a surprise to him. But remember, he is a loving father, caring for you more deeply than you can imagine, always ready to guide you. The Bible tells us that God knew us even before we were born. He's aware of every detail, from the number of hairs on our head to our deepest thoughts. His plans for us are for our welfare, not for harm. Sometimes we might feel too small or insignificant, but that's not how God sees us. Look at the examples from the Bible. Moses felt he couldn't speak well. Sarah doubted because of her age. Jeremiah thought he was too young. Gideon saw his family as insignificant. Saul believed his tribe was too small. David was just the youngest son. And even Mary questioned how she could bear the Messiah as a virgin. Each of them felt inadequate in some way. But God used them all for great purposes. It's a reminder that God can use us, regardless of our perceived limitations or doubts. Let's consider how God sees us. He looks beyond our present state and sees what we can become. No one in this world, no partner, friend, or family member can love you as deeply and unconditionally as your Creator, as Jesus Christ does. To live a life disconnected from this immense love, from the one who made you, just doesn't add up. Think about it. If someone loved you enough to lay down their life for you, wouldn't you want to know them? Well, someone did. Jesus Christ sacrificed His life for us, to atone for our mistakes and offer us a life filled with purpose. I urge you not to let your life pass by without meaning. Make a decision, right here and now, to dedicate the best of your life, not just to your significant other, your job, or any worldly pursuit, but to God and His kingdom. Embrace the identity God has crafted for you. Become the person He designed you to be. Whether you're a man or a woman, God has a unique and purposeful design for your life. Discover it, live it, and let it shine. Reflect on these two simple words, trust God. They sound straightforward, don't they? Yet, as life unfolds, you'll find that truly living by these words can be challenging. Trusting God is a journey, one that can be filled with unexpected twists and turns. I can't predict your future. You might face significant losses, your home to a disaster, a loved one to illness, cherished dreams or long-nurtured relationships. Loss in any form comes with deep pain. I recall praying fervently for my father's health, just as we did for my mother. We stood on the same promises, sought the same divine intervention. Despite our prayers, my father passed away. It was a situation I hadn't hoped for, leaving me with questions that had no clear answers. Why do some prayers seem unanswered? Why do some healings not come? Why do certain people leave our lives? These questions often linger without satisfying explanations. However, I believe that God doesn't allow anything in our lives without a purpose. Even when it's hard to see, even when it hurts, God is at work. He knows what He's doing, and He always has our best interests at heart. His plans are not random. They're part of a divine design. The Scripture encourages us. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge Him, and He will make your paths straight. It's about wholehearted trust in every aspect of our lives. It's about reliance, faith, and understanding that God's ways, though sometimes mysterious, are always guided by His love and wisdom. Let's talk about those times when things don't seem to be working out. Our prayers feel unanswered, our problems persist, and the favor we're seeking just isn't materializing. It's easy to become discouraged in these moments. You might find yourself asking, God, why aren't you intervening? Can't you see I'm struggling, that I'm being treated unfairly, or that my health is failing? Why didn't I get that promotion I worked so hard for? We often think our happiness hinges on certain outcomes, finding the right partner, improving our health, or expanding our family. This mindset is what I call conditional trust, trusting God, but with stipulations and expectations. The issue with conditional trust is that life is full of mysteries and delays. Things don't always go according to our plans or timelines. 
If I had relied solely on conditional trust, I might have become bitter or upset when my prayers seemed unanswered. But the truth is, God did answer my prayers, just not in the way I had envisioned. This brings us to a crucial question. Are we mature enough to accept God's answers, even when they're not what we hoped for? Remember, God is sovereign. We won't always comprehend why things happen the way they do. Faith is about trusting God, especially when life seems confusing. Our journey with God isn't a straight line. It's filled with twists, turns, setbacks, losses, and unexpected events. These are all part of His divine plan. If we stick to conditional trust, we'll find ourselves disheartened, wondering, why is this happening? Am I headed in the wrong direction? But even then, God is guiding us. So trust in Him, even when you don't understand, even when it feels like you're moving in the opposite direction of where you want to go. Let's think about those times when worry, frustration, and disappointment seem to take over. These emotions can drain our enthusiasm, rob us of joy, and even block us from recognizing God's favor in our lives. Often the setbacks we encounter, the closed doors, the unmet expectations, are tests of our faith. God may be watching to see if we can maintain our trust in Him even when things don't go as planned, when life seems confusing and challenging. It's about showing Him that our happiness doesn't hinge on specific outcomes. Whether it's owning a home, having a child, or improving our health, can we still honor God and give our best even if these desires remain unfulfilled? Often, when God sees that we're willing to let go of our desires, He surprises us by granting what we were ready to surrender. Are you feeling frustrated because your prayers aren't being answered in the way you expected, or your plans aren't coming to fruition? It's time to release that pressure. Remember God is in control and He knows what's best for you. We won't always understand His ways. If we did, there would be no need for faith. I encourage you to trust Him unconditionally. If you can do this, I believe and declare that God will unfold His perfect plan for your life. He'll open the right doors, bring the right people into your life turn negative situations into positive ones, and guide you towards the fullness of your destiny. Friends, let us pray. Heavenly Father, Lord of all creation and the author of our life, we come before you today with hearts filled with gratitude and spirits eager to connect with you. As we reflect on the vast tapestry of life, the complexities of our existence, and the many questions that stir our souls, we turn to you, our Creator and Guide. You, O oh God, who fashioned the stars and breathed life into every creature, have planted within us a purpose as unique and valuable as the most intricate designs of the universe. As we navigate through the challenges and joys of life, help us to always remember that our true essence and identity are found in you, in Christ Jesus. Lord, we acknowledge that life's journey is not solely about the roles we play or the achievements we accumulate, but about becoming reflections of your love and grace. In the moments of doubt and uncertainty, remind us that our worth is not measured by worldly standards, but by the depth of our character and the love we share. We confess that at times we are burdened by worries, distracted by the material, and clouded by our limited understanding. In these moments, dear Father, draw us closer to you. Help us to see our lives through your eyes, Eyes that see beyond our flaws and into our potential. Eyes that view every challenge as an opportunity for growth and every setback as a lesson in trust and faith. God, as we stand here, we are in awe of your unconditional love for us. A love so profound that you sent your Son, Jesus Christ, to bridge the gap between our human frailty and your divine perfection. Help us to live in the light of this truth embracing the identity and purpose you have designed for us. Teach us, Lord, to trust in you wholeheartedly, to lean not on our own understanding, but to see every aspect of our lives as part of your greater plan. May our faith be unwavering, even when the path ahead seems unclear or the answers we seek are not immediately evident. In the face of loss, disappointment, or unmet expectations, grant us the strength to maintain our joy and peace. Let us be examples of your love, showing others that true fulfillment and purpose are found in a life anchored in you. As we move forward, we ask for your guidance and wisdom. 
Open our eyes to the wonders of your creation, our ears to the whispers of your guidance, and our hearts to the endless possibilities of a life lived in your service. May we be instruments of your peace, bearers of your light, and examples of your love to all we encounter. We thank you, God, for every breath, every challenge, and every blessing. May our lives be a testament to your glory and a journey towards the incredible destiny you have in store for us. We ask all this in the precious name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Amen. Friends, if you were blessed by this message, type the word Amen in the comments below. Help us spread the word of God. Give us a thumbs up and share it with your friends and family. Your support means the world to us. It's what keeps us going, creating more videos that uplift and inspire. Please leave your prayer requests in the comments below, and don't forget to subscribe to our daily praise channel. We've got so much more to share with you. Make sure to check out the next video. Thank you and God bless.